Hello and welcome viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you some practical examples of IP config command with other keywords that are mostly used as an IT help desk personal or with the IT support person. So we're going to show you all such examples in the command and the usage of IP config. So let's start the video. But before that, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss any update. Now here I have this Windows 10 machine and let's open the command prompt that I already opened for this video. Now here, let's say for example that you want to know about your network details and NetWest stuff. Let's say the IP address, right? or you are fixing any trouble that the system is facing like it is not getting internet or there's no connectivity and in the first hand on the troubleshooting side you must know the network configuration whether the configuration is correct whether the IP address is provided or being set so all these network information you need to know and in most cases, there might be some issue with the default gateway. That's why the machine is not getting the internet, the packet, the, the machine, let's say this is specific machine enabled to reach to the server, like the Google server, it is enabled to do browsing. And this is definitely happens when the machine doesn't have the default gateway. But how could you know that this machine having any correct IP address or there might be some sort of default gateway is not available and there are some issues happen like in the organization where the computer are connected with the server sometimes the same IP is being leased to the same computer to the one computer and then when this computer just turn off and another computer turn on so it leases that IP to this new computer so in that case when this previous computer turn on there must be and there is a kind of IP conflict happen so how could you know those information how could you gather and collect this input and then to process and just apply some of your tools some of your techniques to troubleshoot this issue so all sort of basic details and investigation you could start with the IP config command. So the best point you could remember for practical example of IP config that it is the initial and the first tool you should apply to investigate your network details and from this point you can even start your investigation. So let's start with some practical work and these are all the practical examples you could follow and apply in a different way with the environment or with the trouble. So right now, if I don't use IP config, let's say, and if I want to know the network details, so what should I have to do is just right click on the network and internet settings, then open this window where it contain the network details and that after detail and definitely it takes a lot of clicks and a lot of windows to open to reach to your exact location from you can collect information and you need to just go there to get the basic details after getting this input then you can realize that what should you need to apply here to troubleshoot this issue so here what what I did is just click to the change adapter settings and go to the adapter or might be I can click to the adapter directly and it will show me this window that contain the adapters and the receiving and the send packets so if I click to the detail so I can easily get the details of the network parameters like the IP address, the subnet, the DHCP server, right? The DNS server and most of the important details I could find here like the physical address. So here you can see that it takes a lot of steps and a lot of clicks and you need to 
open certain windows and certain locations to get the details but here you can see you cannot transport this all details into a notepad file all you need to do is to just close this one or you can take a screenshot but if you are doing some kind of documentation and you want to transport and you want to create a separate file so you, if you want to export the all details that you collect on any system so the command line is the best to do this, to do so so let me close these windows and show you the ipconfig command and its uses so here's the command prompt and if i type ipconfig here and press enter so immediately you will in the first look you can easily realize that how many adapters you have in your system so sometimes adapter were hided in your network and sharing center let's say if i open it again for you to just make sure that how this IP config command is useful to collect information about your adapters about your network parameters so if I click here and open the adapter settings change that upper option sometimes the adapter will hide and you enable to see that how many adapters are working and are attached to this same machine but by using this IP config command it will list down all the adopters that are currently working so it will not just hide all those adopters that might be hidden due to any sort of settings or windows general behavior in the response somehow some files got hidden in the operating system but but the best thing in the CMD that whenever the file is not available in the GUI in the graphical user interface you can still see that file access that file and it must be visible because you're using the CMD but there are certain commands you could use to hide those files now here in the first look you are getting the information about the number of adapters you have so right now we have this single one Ethernet adapter Ethernet 0 so Ethernet 0 is the adapter name and the second thing you are getting is your IP address, your subnet, and the default gateway. So it is providing you little detail, but it is useful somehow. And from this IP config command, without any keyword and argument, you can easily assess that this machine have the IP address, it have the default gateway. So that's the best part of this command. But in contrast you enable to find out the DHCP setting the DHCP server the DNS server your physical address the adapter MAC address so this command actually telling you the network detail but not in brief it is just the pieces of information of your network so if you want to collect the whole detail and like if you want to know the DNS address the DHCP server address whether the DHCP is working or not because this command is not itself capable of providing the DHCP server detail like whether the DHCP server is working or not or the IP is set manually or dynamically like automatically so for that you need to run another command IP config space forward slash all and once you press enter so definitely you have the single adapter working here and by pressing by pressing these keys and executing this command in a, in a glance you will see this output and if you start from top to bottom so first you will see the host name the machine name and here you can see that the details are more explored and in a huge way like you're getting bunch of details unlike with this with this just IP config command so on the top you have the host name so with this command you could easily know the host name and then the description that contains the adapter name and the physical address your MAC address and this is different with each adapter so currently you need to just 
make sure that you are on the correct adapter that is providing you the internet connection so you will get the adapter detail once you scroll down to the each adapter so currently there is one that's why we are getting this output related to that one specific adapter then another line that contain the DHCP enabled that is yes so it is straightforward and quickly telling you that your DHCP is enabled and this machine received the IP with the DHCP server then you have the IPv6 addressing detail then the IPv4 and the subnet mask and the interesting part is it is telling about the lease time and also the lease expires in the default gateway and also it is telling about the DHCP server and the DNS server too so all you have all the details you have all are required and helpful to assess and start your investigation from this point let's say your user complains that the user I'm, my machine is not getting IP address so what should you have to do is just run this IP config command and first check whether this machine getting an IP address and let's say if you type IP IP config and you didn't get any IP address let's say you get answer you get the output is 169 and that's something it means that this machine didn't get any IP address so that could be the best way to determine whether this machine is getting IP from the DHCP but in contrast if we go to the GUI and if we want to know that whether this machine is getting IP address from the DHCP so you have to do so many steps and you have to open so many dialog boxes to know whether this machine is getting IP address automatically so if you open this dialog box and in this window you can see the check is made on obtain an IP address automatically so here it is telling that the DHCP is working but here in the command line there's a straightforward answer for you that the DHCP is working so this is the best part of the IP config forward slash all command that it provide you a direct answer then the least thing and the DHCP server also you can locate this DHCP server from here and find out that which DHCP server is working and also you're getting the DNS server detail and in next video I will tell you about how to find out the FQDN of the DNS server this is the topic of another video so I'm not starting this topic right now so how this IP config space forward slash all command is helping in troubleshooting issues that you are getting enough detail in the beginning to investigate the problem that whether the problem is with the machine or with the other part of network that might be the router or switch so after getting this basic detail you can analyze and you can assure yourself and you can done that this machine is perfect everything is configured correctly so there might be some issue with the cable right or with the other network devices like the switch or like the router so you can easily confirm yourself at this point by getting this output like if the DHCP is enabled if the IP address is correct if the DNS server if the DHCP server the default gateway all are correct all are the one that you provide or you set in your DHCP server then you could easily sh assure yourself that everything is working good here so definitely there must be some issue with the other network devices or with the cable nonetheless I'm going to add some keywords with the IP config to show you other options and other sort of function of this command let's say if you want to renew the IP or if the user calls you and asks that I'm getting this DHCP conflict issue in my machine so if you want to fix this issue remotely so you can take the remote or you can tell the user that go to the CMD and type IP config space forward slash renew 
So what this command does, it just refresh the IP or just made another query to the DHCP server that just refresh my IP. So if the IP is in conflict on the DHCP server, that in the same time IP goes to the two machine and if if there is a conflict, so it will resolve and it will totally refresh the IP for you. So right now there's no conflict, so it returned the same IP back to this machine. Then another command and that you use and somehow you may require that command to execute is a display DNS. So once you execute this command, it will tell you all the DNS that are used or might be your machine is make contact with those DNS or if the machine, let's say for example, you want to know that this client machine is doing what? Let's say you get a complaint or you just saw some sort of threats and malware and some sort of you found some sort of downloading, right? You got some report about that machine that this machine is doing some malicious activities and you want to know that on which web server this machine is connecting or which other web server are in contact with that specific node in specific client so you could run this IP config space for us like display DNS so it will tell you all the DNS details in the past it just contain the history of the DNS that were in contact and that provided the exact web server location where this client machine had connection. So in this way you can judge and you can specify that definitely this machine is doing some malicious activities. So this command is really helpful to find out the DNS connection. And if somehow your client is unable to contact with the web server, with your DNS server, let's say your client is unable to get the details from the DNS server, right? Or if the client is unable to, let's say if he opens some file with the administrator privilege and he's typing his password, his account name, but didn't getting any response from there and there's sort of error like the DNS issues or other sort of for example if the client is trying to ping or share file with another web server another server within the network and there is no connectivity with that location so there's a command flush DNS and if you type this command so it will do what? It will flush the DNS cache and just refresh the whole DNS activity and definitely this DNS related issues would be resolved. So these are some practical examples and practical stuff that you need to follow and definitely ipconfig command is really helpful in all such cases and there are other videos we are going to upload just right after this video so just subscribe to the channel and subscribe to this playlist because previously we uploaded the full CMD course where you can easily learn new commands that are required and helpful in the IT environment and now we are starting this practical example videos so they are also useful to just know and judge that which command is useful in which situation in which circumstances so in the last of the videos if you didn't subscribe our channel please subscribe and press the bell icon and thanks for watching